coming with your mask, Poindexter. Okay, Mr. Felix. Do you think it resembles me? A perfect likeness, Poinsy. Thanks, Mr. Felix. Here, Mr. Felix, try it on for size. How do I look? Handsome, Mr. Felix. The doorbell! I'll get it! That does it. Hello, Master Cylinder. Hello, Rock. Did you get Poindexter? Yes, Master. I got him right here in a sack. Now, about my $100,000 fee. Later, Rock. Now, at 1900 Oh? You want me to put him where? Into the nose cone of the Mars-bound rocket? The Big Dipper? Right. Takes off at 1900 sharp. OK. I'll be there. Hmm, in the nose cone of a guided missile. Should be a nice trip. Hmm, rocket control. in the nose cone now. With his super rocket fuel to power my rocket ships, I'll conquer the Earth. Ah, Poindexter, I finally got you. Ha, that's what you think. Felix, you. Yes, me. What's the idea of dragging me all the way to Mars? This is incredible. How did you get into that bag? As if you didn't know, you, you catnapper. And now I'm going back to Earth. Going back to Earth? How? How? Hey! Hello, Rock Bottom. This is the Master Cylinder on Mars. Are you there? Speaking. Listen, you bumbling fool. What's the idea of sending Felix up here to Mars? Felix? But, Master, I personally put Poindexter into the nose of that rocket. Well, I got Felix with a Poindexter mask. A mask? Why, that sneaky little... Stop your blabbering and put the real Poindexter in the next rocket. Yes, Master. The rocket leaves at 2300. And make sure Poindexter is on it. Master Cylinder wants to get his claws on Poindexter's super rocket fuel formula, so he hired Rock Bottom to bring him to Mars. Poor Poinsy, he hasn't a chance. I wonder what's keeping Mr. Felix. He went to answer the doorbell. Oh, there it is again. One thing is for sure. This time, it's not Felix. Gee, I wish I could get out of this Martian pillbox. Huh? Did I hear you say Martian? Martin the Martian. 
Am I glad to see you. Likewise, Felix. Lucky I had my fourth dimensional space capsule handy. I'm going to get you out of here. Thanks, Martin. But I'm worried about Poindexter. Oh, yes. He's supposed to be on the next rocket from Earth. We've got to work fast. Quick, into the space capsule. Next stop, the launching pad. <laughs> Push the button. Felix, you! Yes, me! You, you criminal! Why, you! Oh! Mr. Felix, look, a perfect place to have our lunch. An apple tree, swell. This is the life, huh, Poinsy? Yeah, Mr. Felix, great. Hey, what's all that stuff bulging in your pockets? Rocks? These are my toys. Such as what? My midget Geiger counter. Midget Geiger counter? Yes, and my little spectrum analyzer. And my handy dandy isotope integrator. And. Okay, okay. Don't overdo it. Sounds, Wizard. We got two of them this time. Huh? Where am I? And who are you? They call me the wizard. I know I was just dreaming all this. This is no dream. I pull you out of the future with my magic apples. Magic apples? I say. Ah, the other specimen. Yeah, but this one looks smart. Mm, a capacious cranium. Genius type. Young man, I hereby appoint you an assistant to wizard. What is your name? Poindexter. And that's Mr. Felix. Felix, an odd name. Yeah, sounds like the name of a cat. If you jokers are finished, we'll be on our way. Come on, Poindexter. Coming, Mr. Felix. My word, a castle. A medieval castle. Amazing. Huh? Either I'm dreaming, or we're in Hollywood. Why, you? Uh-oh, a stairway. It must lead somewhere. Oh! 
Oh, there I was, having a nice picnic with Poindexter, when a couple of apples knocked us silly. Then, bingo! We're back in the Middle Ages with a crazy old wizard holding Poindexter prisoner up in that tower. Well, Poindexter, this is my laboratory. It has all the latest scientific equipment. Everything an alchemist needs to make gold. Make gold? Yes, it is your first assignment. But, Mr. Wizard, transmutation of the elements is impossible with such primitive equipment. Quit stalling, or else. Come, Sorak, let's find Felix. But I shall return. Poinsy! Mr. Felix! Let's scram out of here, quick! But how, Mr. Felix? The door is locked.
on it. This is a genuine imitation gold nugget. Hmm. Wait, one bowl of soap. At the Gold Prospector's Cafe. Well, anyway, the soup is good. <laughs> Sonny. in this town with your big mouth. That little guy is dangerous. No more. He's gagged and in jail. Oh! 
says that this is Inca gold territory. Now, if I can find their golden bug, it'll lead me to the treasure. Lots of bugs, but, uh-oh, it is. It's the golden bug. <laughs> Come here, you little rascal, you. Professor, Felix has found the bug. So what? This bug is a thousand years old. The golden bug. The golden bug. That is the only living thing that can point out where the Inca treasure mines are. <laughs> to the golden bug, and he will point the way. Okay, Goldie. Mungo Jingo. Hurry, Rock. Hey, it's dark, boss. Take off that stupid outfit. I knew there was something fishy going on. <laughs> hurry, Rock, hurry. Attention, Goldie. Where do we go now? Mungo Jingo. Through the swamp, huh? OK, but we'll go the easy way. Hold on, Goldie. Time, boss. How are we doing, boss? We just passed Felix. We should land soon. Sooner than you think, boss. Look! Yeah! Mungo Jingo! Now which way to the treasure? Boss, boss, look! The golden bug. What? Up the mountain? Hey! Hey, stop! Help! Stop! Beautiful. in the papers that the bug you found can point out where the Inca treasure mine is. When we say the magic word, the little rascal will have to tell us. Okay, Rock, what's the magic word? Mungo Jingo. Attention, Bug. Where does the treasure lie? Mungo Jingo. Oh, boy, that's a mountain. You crooks will end up in jail. That I promise. Lead the way, Rock. Up we go. How can I ever catch them now? It's hopeless. I can't move. Stop breathing, Rock. You're making me seasick. Come, come, Rock. What's holding us up? A uh, Boyd's in my way. Get rid of it. Sorry, Boyd, but you'd better learn how to fly quickly. Okay, boss, we're at 
the top of the mountain. Where do we go now? Where now, bug? Mungo Jingo. Down? That bug's crazy. There they are, right below. Thanks for the lift. This is all ice. I've come for my golden bug. Oh, no, no. Felix, the ice ledge is breaking behind you. Look. Wow! This glacier is running wild.
Mr. Felix. The show must go on. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can show me greater magic. All right. I'll do it. That's better. Open the box, Sir Rock. Mr. Felix, are you all right? Yeah, Poinsy. Thanks for saving me. We're still in trouble, Mr. Felix. We need a magic trick. I've got it. According to my calendar watch, it is almost time for a total eclipse. And nobody knows it but us. Right, Mr. Felix. Now announce me. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now perform our great magic act, direct from Broadway. Come, come. What is the magic trick? I will now proceed to blot out the sun. Resume sawing, Sir Rock. Look! Curses! The sun seems to be going. <clears throat> the sun is disappearing. Stop it! Stop it! Give us light! Give us light! Give us the sun! Sun. Psst, Poinsy, is it time yet? Yes, Mr. Felix. Let the sun return. Magic pleaseth me so much, you are hereby appointed as the court wizards. Thank you, Sir Majesty. Lucky day, sir. You have been chosen to test our robot housemaid. Just give Rosie the orders and let us know how she works. Well, ta-ta. Thank you. 
work all the bugs out of that robot. It's back to the laboratory for you, Rosie. Wait, Rosie! Hold this man up! You don't leave until you clean! Bring that wild beehive into this cave. 
cave so the bees would get rid of Big Brownie, the giant bear. But instead, I found Poindexter and a little bear. And when I tried to escape, I stumbled and dropped the beehive. Uh-oh, I better get moving. Those bees mean business. Guess my bee booby trap got Big Brownie by now. I'll take this lasso and drag him out. Suffering sauerkraut! Stop, Mr. Bart. This is Little Brownie, my friend. Little Brownie, huh? I'll just take that vomit and use him for bait. Bait? Yep. He'll lure Big Brownie to his doom. Thanks for saving me from the bees, Mr. Brownie. Now let's go find Poindexter and Little Brownie. But, Mr. Bart, why did you do this to Little Brownie? This son is a balancing rock. And when Big Brownie sees the little guy up there, he'll climb up to save him. But, but, the rock will overbalance and fall. He wrecked, and Big Brownie will fall to his destruction 10,000 feet below. That's mean, Mr. Bart. I won't allow it. I know you'd object, partner, so I'll just remove the objection. Too late, Mr. Bart. Here comes Big Brownie now. A balancing rock. You're so right. Stop, Mr. Brownie. Don't touch that rock. Ha, 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 ha,